Um, and, and, and then, of course, like maybe speeding up a little bit, like so. Uh, so even though I, I believe that we we come to each project with a kind of consistent attitude, because so much is discovered in the process that the the conditions are always so different. Uh, what you have to respond to uh, is so different that it ends up creating rather different um, vocabularies and almost. Invisible Building uh, is a museum, uh, a bunker museum on the west coast of Denmark. It's basically in this kind of giant nature reserve on the west coast of Denmark. Uh, the only th exception is this old German bunker left from the Second World War, uh, a gun turret. Uh, a, a gun was uh, delivered from Krups in Germany uh, and was supposed to be installed uh, on September 9, 1945, for good reasons that never happened. Um, and next to it, um, inside the dunes, we were asked to make a museum telling the story. Uh, and because it's an entirely listed landscape, uh, our proposal became to make these kind of very precise incisions um, and almost imagine the opposite of the bunker. If the bunker is a heavy uh, artifact in the dunes, uh, the museum became uh, this kind of light absence. As you slice through the sand, uh, the sand becomes concrete. Um, and you have this uh, square, uh, entirely transparent, bringing daylight uh, deep into this kind of underground uh, museum. Um, you descend into this narrative of the Second World War, the, the occupation of Denmark, um, using only materials that are already found in the bunker, so the concrete, uh, the raw iron, uh, the raw wood. Um, solving all of the sort of technical installations for the uh, museography in the, in the tectonics of the, of the concrete work, um, so that all technique, uh, all sprinkling, all lighting, all hanging is done uh, within the, the tectonics of, uh, of the formwork. Um, daylight being sucked in, so even though we be entirely underground, it feels very light and airy, almost the opposite of the bunker. And then from here, an umbilical cord takes you deep into uh, uh, the bunker, where you can sort of explore what's, uh, what's left uh, as this kind of giant artifact from, uh, from the Second World War. So you can say almost like the, the disappearing act uh, and the discretion almost becomes the most characteristic of uh, uh, what makes the building stand out in a way is what also makes it uh, disappear. Um, 